Hello. You join me here. I'm uh, putting on some long johns and uh, getting my work clothes off and getting into some more warm clothes as we're back out of the boat. Work is finished and we're gonna go and head for some bass. Welcome to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Yes, it's a tote bag. Everyone who goes on the boat has a tote bag, apparently. Right, so you join us out on the boat now. We're uh, just pulling out of uh, Eastbourne Lock. First thing of call today is probably some uh, bream fishing, uh, some pout fishing for some live bait, some dead bait. And, uh, and then after that, we're gonna go bass him. I won't tell you exactly where it is, but if you walk down Eastbourne Seafront on a nice clear day, you'll see about 20 boats in the area. And that is where we're gonna be heading today. So, you're on for the ride, as I said earlier. And, uh, Beautiful flat seas, hopefully, and we'll go and catch some fish for you guys. Let's go. Right, so we got to our first mark, which we're gonna try. Um, which you're gonna see what's down there. There's a few fish on the find, that's something for. It's worth having a little stop. We've got just some sabikis, which are there. And I've got 110 gram lure on there, which sort of imitates like a sand eel or a small fish and uh, that should just tell us what's down there we'll give that a go for a bit probably and then uh, so we'll try and get some live bait some pal maybe uh whatever fish is on that reef and then we'll go and head over most likely uh, to a, a very well known bass mark out here which we're yet to go to uh, i'm yet to fish it properly for bass so that will be good. But for now, we're going to reset our drift and we're going to give a go with this out here and uh, see what we can pick up. So we're just coming over a nice big area of reef now. Uh, probably three, four hundred yards that way. We've got um, all the water boiling up. Now that will happen when you've got shallow water and a tide. Um, or shallow depth, so obviously the big rocks and stuff. You've got like the tide pushing over that rock, so it speeds it right up. So, give it a go, see what's down there. Still using lures for uh, mid November, the water's still really clear, so that's that's good news. Oh, off. oh off. no, he's off. No, he's off. <laughs> oh, oh, we no. I had a knock, lost it, and then I uh, don't think it was anything, anything really too big. big. But, oh, something down there, that's good. Yeah. Both lost a fish so far. Right, it was into a fish. Let's grab the net. It uh, took us a bit of a while today, didn't it, mate? Yeah. Oh. Right, there we go. Little bassy. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. <laughs> I think that was a keeper. Yeah, I think it was, Jess. I think that was a keeper, Jess. Right, so we've uh, reset our drift. It's safe to say the fish today are playing uh, naughty games. So I'm getting my old uh, trusty scratching rig out. I'm going to bait it up with some squid and um, and just to see what's down there. There might be some bream down there. This is how I got my cod the other week as well. So um, it will pretty much get in the fin um, and we'll just give it a go. But uh, there's not much tide now, so um, perfect time for try a little bit of bait and then uh, possibly go off to that bass ground a bit later when it starts to ebb. So there's two of us on the boat today. There's myself and then there's Neil over there. So we're utilising the fact that there's two of us. Neil's uh, using a little sidewinder shad um, on a three-way swivel and just doing a bit of winding up, dropping down, a bit of bouncing, a bit of everything. And uh, yeah, I'm just using those bit of squid, bit of bait, just to see what I can pick up. If I can get a bit of live bait or something, I might might drift the live bait down there. Um, see if they're up for that. We haven't got much tide. Hence why the fishing at the moment in time is poor. But a day can change like that. The fish can feed so differently when the tide changes. So it's always worth persevering. Right, so we're in. 
Finally. So just on that trusty bit of bait. And I don't think it's going to be a pout either. It feels a bit better. It might be a bream. Ooh, what is it? Oh, no, it's a bass. It's a bass. Oh, it's a bream. No, it is a bream. <laughs> oh, oh wait. give me a bite. Ooh, there we go. Happy days. Well done. <laughs> well done. There we go. Middle of November. And we're uh, catching bream. There you go, just a little bream to start the day off. Um, that'll be your dinner, wouldn't it? Yeah, thanks. Happy days. There we go, so Neil's gone to the same similar tactics to what I was using. And we're into a fish. Oh, oh, it's a monster pouting. <laughs> it's dark, isn't it, that one? Yeah, almost like a kelpie pollock. Yeah. There you go. So we're resetting our drift and we're just, um, you know, trying for these bream. And uh, they're just going for the squid heads. The bark, oh, there we go. There we go. That was down there for no more than a second. Question is, he's not, well, he stopped pulling, but he's still on. It's probably a pout, this one, I, I reckon a pout. I reckon a pout, or is it a bream which doesn't fancy a fight? Oh no, it's a pout, yes. It's a pout. Well, we'll keep him for bait later on. Oh, decent size pal. There you go. Perfect, uh, perfect live bait for later when we target the bass. Yeah. Pal. Oh, jumbo. Jumbo pal. If you can see that rod, but it's. Uh, Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yep. Another big pout in, I think. See, if we were on a conga trip today, we would have had a we would have had a good stash of pouting. Let's have a look. There he is. Oh, another good size for bait. Power, but we'll take him. Some of them are pretty pretty big. A bit big for a live bait that one, but we could flap it up down there. Um, there still might be some congas down there and stuff, so we'll take them for bait regardless. Nice dark colour to them actually on these pout. It's almost like they're living in the kelp. Uh, quite pretty fish really, to be honest. I'm gonna get him off the hook before he decides to tangle me up more. Bit of head shake in there. I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it, but it almost felt like a cod for a minute. And it's it's a pal. What the hell? That, that looked bigger, didn't it? Yeah. That looked bigger. I mean it's a big, it's quite a big pal, but it did feel like it felt like a cod. I'll uh He's, he's really quite a bit, bit big for uh, any sort of bait, so he's lucky. He's going to go back. I'd say he's going to go back. Yeah, he's gone. Big pout would be our luck today. That's what we've been doing. What you got? Oh, Pollock. It's a Pollock, isn't it? How funny. Should we get the net? Where is that net? There he is. First Pollock I've ever seen on here. Yeah, there we go. Happy days. Little Pollock. Excellent. Hello, matey. The difference with this scratching rig, it's just got little sabikis, delta reels, uh, instead of just plain hooks. But there we go. Nice one. Hello, mate. Right, so we've got enough pouting. The tide is starting to flow. So we're going to go and make our way over to uh, Eastbourne's favourite bass mark. So I'll see you in about 20, 30 minutes and uh, we're going to try some sidewinders and try and get some big bass. Give it a go. Right, so we're at where we wanted to go. Uh, we're going to have to wait about half an hour until the tide really starts to push through. So it's about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 knots at the moment. We want it to be about one and a half plus. Um, but yeah, lots of boats around as I said, as expected. 
we're just going to keep going with the side winders, different lures, and see if we can pick anything up. Bass is now the target. Just reset the drift, and then we'll try again. Come on, boy. Oh, sure? oh, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hang on. Oh. Just want as many as we can, yeah? Yeah, that is it. This is a decent fish, this one. Oh, that's really lovely. Oh. <laughs> he's having a go, isn't he? Yes! He's in the bag. Yes, in. Nice. He's nice, isn't he? There you go, just underneath the shad there. Very nice. Very nice. Neil's showing me how to do it. Another bass on. There, isn't it? Swimming straight up to the boat. Oh! Oh! Into a. Oh, am I into one myself? Damn. Oh, I'm in, Neil. I'm in as well. Oh, that was. I was just chatting to you and off it went. Oh, he's alright. He's alright. He's not massive, but he's alright. Yes, there we go. Excellent. He's a bit small for eating, but. About the same size, isn't he? Yeah, they're not. Nah, they're not keepers, but. There you go. Two nice bass, not keepers, so we're gonna pop them back. Ready? See you later. Let's try again. So the one thing really important about this sort of bass fishing is resetting the drift. It's hard work, but it's worth it. We've got, we've just reset it, and we're gonna get our lures straight back out. The majority, the majority of these bass swim straight up to the boat, so you've got to keep tension on it all the time. Any slack you give them, and they're off. They're off. He's a nice one. He's a bit better, isn't he? He's a nice one. Hey. Bass number four. Smashing it, Neil. Smashing it out. <laughs> Lovely. Good man. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, there's some big shoals down there now. So, Neil's into another fish while I'm faffing around sorting my lure out. He's uh, And he's attached to my lure and get going. You're off. Oh no. Both. I'm in still. Well done, it's Jordan, though, I think. He smashed that. You know what? I just changed down to a smaller size. Yeah. Sidewinder. That might be in the right fish, but let's have a little. Massive, but. Thing is, I want to want to get my hooks and set back as quickly as possible, so I can send my lure back down. Really, oh. I'd literally just put a slightly smaller sidewinder on, and I'd buy it straight away. So exactly the same. You got, yeah, bigger. you've got a big one. That's a bit bigger. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. That's a bit bigger. Oh, he's off again. No! No, he ain't. Did you know? No, just coming up in the water. Winding it, boy. Off. He's off, isn't he? He's off. Oh, he's done ya. He's done ya. Have a little scoot, bass. I actually, I think I had this on for quite a while, and um, yeah, it just, just didn't, just didn't feel it. So that small side wind, that, that's two on one drift. Lovely little bass. Straight back down there. Right. So while the boat's settling and there's drifts just getting into flow, I just thought I'd very quickly show you what we're doing. So, three-way swivel with the weight straight on and then I should have about six foot of um, fluorocarbon, 20 pound line, and then just a little four inch sidewinder. 
and then we're a mixture of bumping off the bottom and uh, and retrieving. Right, enough chatting. Let's catch a bigger bass. Bear the bass on, finally. Oh, he's coming up in the water. Keep the wine, keep the wine, keep the wine, keep the wine, keep the wine. Got to keep in contact, otherwise you'll lose it. It's as simple as that. Even better fish. Better fish, finally. See him yet? Yeah. Well, I say he's not massive, but he's better, better than what I've had. Oh, he stopped. You know what? He's not even that big. He's just put up a good fight. Oh, he's in the net though. Ooh. There he is. Ooh. There you go. Another respawn bass. No messing around. We'll fling that lure straight back down there. Yeah, one go. Oh. You're on. Excellent. Nils in. That's it. We don't want to lose him, do we? See, he might be a bit better, might he? Yeah. Oh no, I'm in as well. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Oh, there you go, you got net. You're right. What? I love, I forgot how much I love bass fishing. Are yours up yet? No, not yet. Um, I was going to say, who's going to net who's gonna get, Who's going <laughs> to get that? Oh, mine's up. Mine, mine's yeah, up. Net, net your first, then come over and get mine. Because oh. mine's a nice one. Look at the size of that. Are you better? Yeah. Oh, he's we'll a double he's net. Welcome. Oh, yeah, he's better. Sorry about the tricky filming, guys. But... There's my one, not that big compared to Neil's. Lovely boy, fantastic. Well done. Generally with boat fishing, either nothing's happening or everything's happening. That's why the filming can be tricky, but we'll have got something out of it. So. Neil's into a bass and so am I. It's almost one like. Lowe's on the finder, blue my neck. <laughs> Neil's. <laughs> know, mine's coming up now. This might be a keeper. But some of them today have felt really big and uh, they've not been. So it feels a bit bigger, but we'll never know until it's up the top. Oh, yes, this is better. That's better fish. Hey, keeper, finally. Oh, lovely. Cheers, matey. Woo! There we go. There we go. That's my one. No. Biggest of the day, that'll be 42. We'll have, we'll have yeah, a check. Oh, in again, boys. In again. Exactly the same place as Hunter's Dallas. So I'm going to speed wind this up. It's a small one. Try and get it. Oh, it might not be too small, but. If it is a small one, I want to get it back and I want to get my lure down there as quick as possible. Here she comes. It's not small, small, but he's not really a keeper. There you go. All you got to do with something like that, if you've got a single hook on your sidewinder, is just slacken the line on the side of the boat and they should come off like that one did there. There's so many down the find that is packed full of bass. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we're in within. Slow rewind. Oh, bass fishing is the most awesome sport when it's good. Oh, not dead. Oh, I'm going to hit to the bottom. Bounce it off the bottom. Oh, God. Just to wind up. Yep, yeah, we're in. Oh, no, he come off. Yeah, oh. It's like, no, 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 yes. Right, straight to the bottom. Full, absolutely full of them. Gentle wind. Yeah, here we go. Better fish, Neil, better fish. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, this is... No, he come off. No, no, he come off. Oh. <laughs> that was a better one, Neil. That was a better one. What a bugger. 
What a bugger. Come now. Lovely. Get in. Get in. Lovely. Very nice. Ooh, we're in. We're in. We're in. Schoolie though, I think. Just another schoolie. I want a big one today. We've probably only got about one drift left, maybe two if we're lucky. We're keeping eye on the other boats, we're going to go back with them. So. Fisherman's last cast is uh, whenever the boat goes back. And then, so just, nah, that one's swallowed it a bit too much. But. Oh, he's be a bit careful when I on the keys because he's got his hook right where I want to hold him, which is typical. There you go. As I've said, a lot of my videos before follow the gulls. Well, there's hundreds where we just caught those bass, but that's exactly what we're doing. And we're getting the official to a jump, so yeah, happy days. Right, boys and girls, this is going to be our last drift. It needs to be. Um, so I'm just going to wait for the boat to settle, we'll get the lure straight back out, and hopefully, we'll pick off one of the big ones because they are here. There's going to be 10 pounders here easily, like no problem. It's just, uh, you can't pick which bass takes your bait, can you? You've just got to keep doing it, it's a numbers game. Come on, big bass, come on. <laughs> another bass, but I don't think it's a big one. Very, we've got a last drift, we've probably got about another couple of minutes of this drift left. So again, I'm going to very quickly knock this bass off and uh, try and get a bigger one. Schoolie. Little schoolie. Oh, another bass on. But again, I don't think it's going to be a big one I'm after. Might not happen today, but there'll be other opportunities. Oh, might be all right. Oh no, he's all right actually. He's not too bad. Really, but another one just there. There he is. Corey's absolutely annihilated that little. There you go. Right, last cast, here goes. He's not the same drift, has he? Another bass. That must be free on that, free on that run. Another little bass. Right, time to go in. So, what a day we've had. What a day we've had. Problem is, is this Mr. Bass does not want to open his mouth. See you later. Right, we're gonna sort our catch out, get all the rods in, and we need to get home because it's gonna get dark. Right, so we've come to the end of our session. We're just gonna head back to the uh, harbour now at Eastbourne. Again, well, what a day. The start of the day was a bit tricky. Um, we just had a lot of pouting, a couple of bream. Uh, and nothing I don't think really of interest apart from them two bits of bobs. Then we came and done the main event and uh, me and Neil smashed it up quite frankly. Must have had I think, 20 odd bass. Yeah. We would have stayed out here but look, getting dark and the weather's coming in and so's the wind. So hope you enjoyed this one. Take care and join us next time. Cheers Neil once again. <laughs>